But wait a second, it's Dr. Riley. I thought he left. He has the steel chair. But will Blake use that steel chair to take out Fry? Wait a second, he throws the steel chair away. He doesn't want to use it. Very noble of Blake. He wants to win this the right way. Fry has the special delivery. Let this be over. And it's over, Fry. It is the championship. It's still the champion of UWO. Wait a second, it's Dr. Wiley. What's going on here? Where am I watching? Why do we see a Thomas the Tank Engine? I, I see this when I was a kid. I don't want to see this again. Tell me Dr. Wiley did what he did. Oh my god. What's going on? The T engine is taking on weight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UWO Clash of Smash episode 67. This is a fallout from UWO Payback and what a night that was. I'm sorry what happened with Link, it was deplorable what we saw. We're going to kick this off with an opening contest. Here comes Tiny Rossetti. Tiny Rossetti victorious against the Zack Ranger in a no disqualification false count anywhere matchup. Where Zack ascended the stage, the payback stage, and did his five his Mastodon Mega Splash, but he missed because of that woman right there, Georgia Avani, as she pulled Tiny Rossetti off of the table. And the Zack Bridger came crashing down. And the Zack Bridger did it answer to the 10 count. And Time Rossetti thus was victorious. And the question is, where is the Zack Bridger? I'm pretty sure he's very hurt, but you'll never know where that man may be. And Time Rossetti has to watch his back at all times. But tonight, he has to deal with David Arquette. David Arquette has signed a new contract here in UWO and his first matchup of his contract will be against this very man Tiny Rossetti, a former UWO champion. So David Arquette has a high chances of losing this matchup against this veteran right here. Here comes David Arquette. David Arquette, a former champion here at UWO as well. 
he was the former UWO Rising Star Champion. So he has a lot under his belt as well. He is a pretty decent wrestler, I gotta give him that. But I'm not sure how he's gonna fear off against Tiny Rossetti. Tiny Rossetti is on a different level. But I've, I've been hearing that David Arquette has been training. He went through other promotions, perfected his craft, and, and I'm very curious to see what he brings to the table here in the UWO season number three. David Arquette, very flashy. But will this flashiness of David Arquette transform well with his wrestling ability? Here we go, this match is, on the, is underway. Time for City versus David Arquette in our opening contest here tonight on UWL Clash this match. Looks like David Arquette is talking some game to Giorgio Giovanni, but I'm not sure it's working. But Time for City does not look impressed. David Arquette has to be on his A game here tonight. He cannot be playing any games. Arquette showing off to the crowd here at UWO. And Georgia Fine does not look to press herself. I don't think Arquette gets the message. Wait a second, Versetti takes advantage and catches Arquette with that Sayato suplex. So David Arquette doesn't like that. David Arquette talks some trash to Time Rossetti, but Time Rossetti counters whatever David Arquette was going to do as a punch to the face by Rossetti and knocks Arquette down for, with a beheading clothesline that had to hurt. Rossetti Irish whips Arquette to the turnbuckle, elbow to the face, and fouls up from a bulldog. My goodness, what a maneuver that was. And Arquette is writhing in pain here. Cover ball to the back. There by Versetti. Versetti once again throws Arquette into the turnbuckle. Versetti on the second row. Balled off from the second row. My goodness. And Versetti not going for the cover. Looks like he's here to punish Arquette. Picks up Arquette back to the feet. Oh my goodness, what an elbow. Rocks Arquette down to his knee. And Ar Versetti covers him down to the mat once again. And Arquette holding his midsection as Rossetti lifts up Arquette. Irish whips once again. Turns around. Nice net breaker right there. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. I'm not sure where the ref is going. Got a cover here. No. I'm surprised Arquette was able to power out of that pinfall. But Tom Rossetti is not yet done with the Hollywood star, Arquette. Arquette pushes off Versetti, catches him with a crossbody, and pushing away of Versetti. Arquette showing some aggression, but you know Arquette is a show off. He loves the attention, so he's gonna show off any by any means necessary. Look at that lack of respect. Arquette is showing Versetti right there by pushing him down with his foot. Irish whips, Versetti gets the ropes, goes for a chop, Versetti counters for a kick to the midsection. section. And another clubbing blow there by Versetti. Versetti rakes the face of Arquette, knee right to the face, right to the bridge in the nose. Versetti not yet done, what is he going for? Stop to the midsection. section, it is Wassum off. Oh, he's a piece of trash. Get to the back, there for Versetti. Versetti once again lifts up Arquette, does, oh my goodness, lifts him up and punches him right in the jaw. 
Arquette was rocked with that one. Rossetti, my goodness, what a close line. Pretty much took Arquette's head off. Looks like Rossetti's setting Arquette up with the Vice City Crusher. Full silver goes for the cover, hooks the leg. And that is all she wrote. Rossetti wins the matchup here tonight against Arquette. Arquette was not on his A game here tonight. What happened? He was more focused on the crowd than the matchup and on Giorgio Giovanni's twins. And just from that time, Rossetti hits the Vice City Crusher. And, Vito and Rossetti was victorious here tonight. But Rossetti has to watch his back, like I said, the Zach Ridger could be striking at any moment. But the question is, what is next for Mr. Vice City himself, Time Rossetti and Giorgio Giovanni? Plus the Punisher, what is this man doing here tonight? A UWL Payback, we saw him slip a note to Wonder Woman. Well, his card with his number, I wonder what that's all about. Is he trying to recruit Wonder Woman as well? I know Wonder Woman is going through some things with the audience of UWO. And it looks like the Punisher is taking advantage of that. But what is his business here tonight? What does he have to say to the UWO crowd? So Frank Castle is calling out the champion, Phil J. Fryer, here he is. Here is the UWL champion himself. Fryer retorts against Link at UWL Payback, as controversial as that ending was. Fryer is the undisputed champion of UWO. Going face to face with the former UWL champion himself, the Frank Castle, the Punisher.
So the punch is backing off. What is he doing? He just said, United we stand. Oh boy. Looks like the punch has back up. Because the United, the rest of it at least, Bart and Zayn. If Fry's not backing down, let's say showing more guts than brains. There's no way he could take on these two by himself. If Fry knocks down Bart. My goodness, but wait a second, Zankiev has another fry. Oh my god. Super is right outside the ring. It's like the United are going to have their way with Fry. The Punisher set up fellow J. Fry here tonight, trying to soften him up. Fred Castle wants to challenge Fry for his UWL championship at any cost. But I'm not sure injuring the champion here will do him any favors. Looks like Bart Simpson is going to have his way with Fry himself. My goodness, Fry is in a bad way against these two. They're just destroying Fry here. I'm not sure what their intentions are. Looks like they're trying to send a message in the biggest way possible by going after the UWO champion. My goodness. Oh my god, just knock Fry right out with those kicks. And Fry's in a bad way. I'm not sure if Fry has a lot of friends in the back. He's the champion. Oh, and champions usually don't have a lot of friends. They got everybody gunning for them. And Fry tries to roll out the ring to get out of harm's way. But it's just it's just too much for Fry to handle. United showing their strength against the champion here. Wait a second. That's Goku. Goku's coming to the aid of Phil J. Fry. And Fry trying to come back back. But wait a second. And Goku takes down Zangief. And Goku, wait a second. He's going for it. There's a secret technique. Hits it on Zangief. And Zangief is out. It's like Bart Simpson's getting out of dodge. He wants nothing of Goku. I see the Punisher looking on. Got a stalemate. My goodness. This is Zordon calling the Power Rangers. Beware, Rita Repulsa and her evil henchmen are out to destroy all of you in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Super Ness. Fight your way through seven incredible levels of non-stop action. To win, you'll have to morph into a Power Ranger and overcome obstacles. Swim through underground waterways, crawl through dark caverns, even do battle as the Mighty Megazord. Let's kick it! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video game for your Super Nintendo Entertainment System from Bandai. Prepare for trouble! Make it double! To protect the world from devastation! To unite all peoples within our nation! To denounce the evils of truth and love! To extend our reach to the stars above! Jesse! James! Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now or prepare to fight! Back on the first match, as you saw before the commercial break, Goku came to the aid of Phil J. Fry taking out Zangief with the secret technique. 
and the UWL Championship Committee had their eyes on this and made a major matchup for next week. It's going to be the Punisher Frank Castle going against Goku in a number one contenders match for the UWO Championship. Frank Castle going against, Phil, going against Goku, whoever wins, going against the UWO Champion Phil J. Fry at UWO Madness, our next UWO Mega Event. What a match is this going to be next week? Here comes April O'Neil. April O'Neil tonight will be going against Xena, the UWL champion. I mean, UWL women's champion, Xena. This is a big opportunity for April O'Neil. Can she knock off the champion? If she does, will there be a future championship matchup for this young lady right here, April O'Neil? April O'Neil has a lot of potential to be a champion here at UWO, but she hasn't found her momentum yet. But will tonight be tonight? Here comes Zena, the UWO Women's Champion. She successfully defended that championship against Zelda at UWO Payback. And what a matchup that was. One of the best women's matches I ever seen in UWO. Zena has every right to be proud of herself in carrying that championship you see over her shoulder. I can tell it's going to be a great reign for Xena with that UWO Championship, UWO Women's Championship. Here we go, this match is underway. Xena going against April O'Neil as they square off. And Xena turns it to a wrist lock. And April O'Neil finds a counter and turns it to a hammerlock. Xena reverses once again to a headlock. Takes over for a headlock takeover. April O'Neil not giving up yet. Back up to the feet they go. It looks like Zena. Looks like she's gonna overpower. April pushes her off. And what's this? Running power slam. To April O'Neil. What a maneuver that was. Irish whips. April O'Neil gets the rust. Goes for a close line. But now counter there from April O'Neil. It catches her with an instant Gary. April O'Neil cannot be too arrogant against the champion. But she follows up with a calf kick, knocking down Xena. April O'Neil going high risk. Oh my goodness, what a maneuver that was. What a maneuver. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg, and only a one count. My goodness. I can't believe Xena got out of that one. It's like a scoop and a slam. Takes down Xena. Looks like a springboard, but no. This caught her barely. It's like 
April's going to go for it again. Oh, but Zena was able to move out the way. What's this from Zena? Far away slam. Almost drew it right into that turnbuckle. What's up? April O'Neil once again. Draws her to the turnbuckle face first. But this is not good for April. Oh my goodness. Face first, she goes right into that top turnbuckle. Big time power slam. There from Zena. Hooks the leg. Will this be over? No. April still has life left in her. Big punch to the face and a big chop. And the Mongolia chop to follow up. So she's going for a vertical with suplex. But no, April escapes. What's this? My goodness. A poison runner there from April O'Neill. Goes for the cover. Hooks her leg. Herself got two. Oh my goodness. She almost got Xena. From that reverse Hurricane Rana, Zena was able to kick out at the count of two. Kiss in the midsection there by April O'Neill, punch to the face. It's a shot right into the midsection there from April. April has Zena rocked, throws her off the, the ropes. That's where it's not her. No, Zena, a big time elbow right to the face. She goes for a scoop and a slam herself. Cena lifts up. April nil to for Gorilla press into the knee. Lifts up April. What is she going for? Big time punch right into the face. Knocks her right into the turnbuckle. Boot to the face by April. Throws Cena to the turnbuckle. And what is this? Let's get a net breaker, my god. Nice net breaker. With that assist, with the second rope. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Got two. Oh my goodness, that was close. That was a close one. But Zena was able to kick out. April signaling from Zena to get back up. Irish whoops. Zena goes, turns back around. That's over the head, belly to belly suplex. Impressive maneuver there from. April O'Neil. I swoop again. Takes it back. No! Over the head. Back to by Super Spy Zena. What a match this is. Between these two women. Turns April around. Oh, but it's not good. Oh my god. What a power driver that was. April has to check her neck. Zena stalking. April O'Neil. Looks like she's gonna go for it. She's going for the Warriors way. Will she hit it? Will she hit the Warriors way? And she does. There it is. With the impressive bridge. And that's it. Cena is victorious here tonight. But April has nothing to be ashamed of from that performance. What a match this was between these two ladies. But Cena, the UWL Women's Champion, is victorious. She is the champion for a reason. That person maneuver the Warriors way. She was victorious once again. I can tell Zena's gonna be a great champion here for UWO. What a victory that was for Zena. Wait, wait, wait a second. What? Wait, don't tell me who I think this is. Is she back? Oh my god, she is back. She is back, ladies and gentlemen. Kug, the warrior, the Amazon is back here in UWO with that son of a. Oh. Zap Brannigan is back as well. My god. Not this man. I thought her coming back was bad, but Zap Brannigan is even worse. I, I can't believe this. This woman is back. We haven't seen her since Night of Glory 2. She took on Harley Quinn and Nocturna. She just got thrown off that big trailer, crashing down about 20 plus feet to the freaking concrete. But miraculously, this woman is back here at UWO. Looks like she's gonna confront the champion. 
point. What is, what is going on here? But Cena is not backing down. Cena usually doesn't back down from anything. A stand down between these two Amazonian women. And of course that Brennigan. The message of the snoo snoo. What is going to happen here? Wait, wait a second. She throttles the UWR Women's Champion. What is this? Not this. Oh, there's a snoo snoo. To the scene of my goodness. Krug sending a message to the UW Women's Champion. What is going to happen? What does this mean? Go, go. I am Gex. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's get this. Let's get this down. Okay, that's kind of saucy. Look at that. That's, Gex. That's what you know. Because you're popping. You're popping. Did you just move? No. I am that, that's, I am gay. That's scaring me, don't do it to me. I'm so good. I feel, feel stupid. I feel stupid. <laughs> All right, little man. How many times are I... It'll work when it's a big blimp. Yeah, it, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. You know, I feel kind of silly. And our next making event premiering on YouTube is called UWO Madness. Our second pay per view of the season, of season three. And we have a match signed already. It's going to be Christy Martero and Wonder Woman going against the tag team of Rico Hinamoto and Rainbow Mika. And whoever wins the matchup, the tag team that wins will face off one another for the number one contendership for the UWO Women's Championship. Very high stakes in this matchup. This is what I was talking about on UWL Payback. The Punisher slipped Wonder Woman his business card. And Wonder Woman looked like in her eyes that she had great interest. But she just told Chrissy that she ripped it up. Is Wonder Woman telling the truth about this? I'm not too sure. Wonder Woman has been going through a lot in her mind with the crowds and what happened in UWO Knights of Glory when she defeated Rita X. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. This is the chase match for the number one contendership for the UWO Championship. This is how this match is going to work. 
We're going to start up with a fatal four-way matchup. Whoever is pinned in this matchup is eliminated from the chase. And in the next episode will be a triple threat match. Oh my goodness, what a lead to the face that was by Deadpool. And just going to go down. And whoever loses, whoever gets pinned in that triple threat match next week, the next match will be a one-on-one -on -one match. And that match will determine who will face the UWL champion in our next mega event after Madness. Oh, to the face there by Deadpool. Knocks down Deadpool. Does Luigi. As you see, Luke Skywalker and King Leo Knight is battling out outside of the ring. They said to Luigi, what is this maneuver? Nice, man nice suplex that was a fouls up with a punch to the face. Luigi now, nice late drop to Deadpool. Wait a minute. Outside of the ring, Luke Skywalker knocks down Leonidas. I think his head almost hit the steel steps. But wait a second, Deadpool going high risk. Oh, I can't did to catch that, but Deadpool knocked down Luigi. Leonidas throws Luke Skywalker back into the ring, but he rolls right back out. I mean, this is specific strategy in this matchup, and that's not to get pinned for a Drew Camps. Really nice try to go for a kick, but Luigi dodged it. Luigi going to the second turnbuckle. Nice. Oh, he tried. Deadpool's trying to go for a uh, salt to catch Leonidas. Leonidas and Deadpool have been rivaling as of late. I don't think the rivalry is over. But Deadpool, with this combination, lead right to the face. Only Skywalker as Luigi takes down Leonidas with that clothesline. Luke Skywalker pushes off. Deadpool has him on the turnbuckle. What's this pull over a power bomb? Impressive maneuver there by Luke Skywalker as he follows up with a neckbreaker to Luigi. It's in the midsection. But what is this? Submission hole. It's like the rings of Saturn here from Luke Skywalker, but Luigi was able to power out. Get out of that submission hole. Daytime trapped there by Luke Skywalker as Leonidas takes advantage of it. And Leonidas tosses Luke Skywalker over the top rope. My goodness. Scoop and a slam there by Deadpool. Deadpool is showing his interest in Leonidas now. Back breaker there from Deadpool to Leonidas. As Luigi takes advantage of Luke Skywalker down on the mat. Big time close on there from Luigi. Nails the second one. Fouls off a big time kick to the face. And looks like Deadpool is showing up Luigi with a few close eyes himself. But it, oh my goodness, what a DDT that was. He planted Deadpool with that DDT. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Would this be over? No. It was almost over for Deadpool. But Deadpool was able to kick out at the count of one. Suplex there from Luigi. What's this? Oh, there's the screwdriver. The screwdriver. This match might be over for Deadpool. He goes for the cover. He may be eliminated. And no, my goodness, he kicked out the, the screwdriver. Luigi cannot believe it. And he goes for the camera clutch. Deadpool is in a bad way. Oh, but Deadpool had to submit. The pain was just too much on his neck. For that screwdriver, a Deadpool is eliminated. And th it's gonna be a triple threat match. Leonidas, Luigi, and Luke Skywalker. Turbo Graphic 16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. 
ten thousand years ago. You're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 stages of prehistoric bad guys to rescue your excellent looking princess. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's Adventure, only on the TurboGrafx-16 system. What is this? I'm not sure what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. That tune sounds very familiar. What we heard on UWO Payback. Well, I should have known. It's Sabrina the Witch. Sabrina Spellman. Sabrina made her return at UWO Payback and showed her black magic. I know we've been seeing videos of her prior to Payback. I'm not sure what to call those videos, but they were very creepy. And what is this woman doing here tonight? She attacked Shuri and Harley Quinn at UWO Payback while they were having their matchup, their very great matchup. And Sabrina ruined it. And what is Sabrina's purpose? As you see, that eye patch she has on her face, that's due to Rita X attacking her eye. And I can't say I feel sorry for Sabrina, what she did to Rita all throughout the months. And it looks like Sabrina is going to seek revenge and take out the revenge on everybody that comes in her path. Sabrina's just not saying anything, she's just staring into the camera. What is this about? What? Wait, what, what the? What just happened? Did the ref just get a heart attack? What does Sabrina do? I, I, I'm scared here, ladies and gentlemen. Sabrina is an unhinged woman. Wait, the ref is back up. I mean, he's okay. Wait, wait a s- Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my god. Here comes Shuri. I don't think this is the Sabrina that we knew. Why not a couple of pictures and then go home? Anybody you recognize here? Nah. Huh? I don't hang out with animals, man. I don't Which one is he? Does this ring a bell? Which uh, one? You're sitting here lying to me, wasting my time. You're a liar, and I know you're a liar. Get me here. Is it this one? I don't have How about that one, huh? Sly Cooper, he's one cunning, devious, devious raccoonus. Ring a D for everyone.
We're back on the fastest match. And that was pretty interesting conversation from Donkey Kong and Captain Falcon. What the Captain Falcon mean by it's their time to shine. But now, up next here, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be Bugs Bunny going against the Black Scorpion. Here we go, this match is underway. The Black Scorpion, the best wrestler is CAW. Going against Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny is very underrated. Oh my goodness, what a knockdown that was. Big time elbow into the face of the Black Scorpion. And Bugs Bunny, nice suplex. Wait a minute, Bugs Bunny going high risk. That springboard off the top rope. Knock it down, the Black Scorpion onto the floor. Draws the Black Scorpion into the ring. Nice maneuver that was. Impressive, but this match will be over. And no, only your two counts. It Bugs. What is he going for here? So he's working over the legs of the Black Scorpion. He's not yet done. Now Bugs, what up, sup? Scorpion here. Nice dragon screw, lay whip. There by the bunny. Bugs is on a great row here tonight in this matchup. And the scoop and no, Scorpion was able to counter. Throws Bugs over the top rope, but Bugs lands on his feet. Bugs with an elbow to the face. Mike goes with a knee to the face. That was impressive athleticism there by Bugs Bunny. Is that Bugs is setting? Wait, wait, what's going on here? What is this? Oh no. Oh, don't tell me. Damn, Team Engine is interrupting this matchup. What is going on here? This is not good for the opponents inside the ring. They better get out. This man took out Link. He destroyed them. If you, we do not know the condition of Link, uh, of how long he's going to be out. Oh, this, 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 this beast is just pure evil. Look at the face. There's no emotion whatsoever. Oh my god, just... Oh, just cut the Black Scorpion in half. With that, oh, with that derailer, it hits bugs with it. This fucking... This, this guy, this machine, is just... He's too powerful, he's too fast. Dr. Wally did something with this. Oh my god. Now he has Bugs Bunny. This is not good. Oh. My goodness. I can't believe. One's the super freaky funky puncher. The other, a heavy handed exit man. I don't have your money. I don't have your money. I don't have your money. Boxing round two with batter characters and bigger action. It's the undisputed, undefeated champion. Rated T for team. All right, gentlemen, I want a good clean.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It's going to be Princess Peach going against the Wii Fit Trainer. This match was set up by these two. And Princess Peach does have a test. Much was a challenge by the Wii Fit Trainer. Trainer, she wants to see what Princess Peach has in her. Because the Wii Fit Trainer. This pretty much is a mutual battle between these two. We Fit Trainer is trying to test Princess Peach. If the We Fit Trainer wins, We Fit will go her, her own way solo dolo. Both of them will go their separate ways. But if they if Princess Peach was able to if she's able to defeat the We Fit Trainer, I guess they're gonna stick together and try to make the best of their careers to by each other's side. Here we go, this match is underway. The main event of the evening, Princess Peach going against the Wii Fit Trainer as they lock up. And Peach gets the better of the exchange as we fit in the corner. Will we get a clean break? And yes, we do. So these two will respect one another. We got another tie up. We fit goes behind. Takes down Peach with a nice takedown maneuver. And can Princess Peach escape this? If she does, she lifts up, goes behind, and reverses to a back hold herself. And takes down the Wii Fit and catches her with a headlock on the mat. And how can Wii Fit reverse this? How can she counter? And we fit back up to her feet with a standing headlock. And Peach pushes off. We fit trainer ducks over, leaps over, goes for a no. We fit trainer goes behind. Mike does one maneuver that was impressive athleticism there from the We Fit trainer. I say We Fit is very proud of that maneuver. Those pisses Peach right into the turnbuckle. Oh my goodness, looks like We Fit is showing some aggression. She is not holding back against Princess Peach. Draw breaker there from 
the We Fit trainer. And We Fit, oh, stomping on the arm. Now Tracer in position. And the leap from light maneuver to Princess Peach as she slowly gets back up to her feet, assisting herself with the ring. Sunset flip there from the Wii Fit Trainer has her covered. Oh, that was a close one. Princess Peach almost lost the matchup. Sleeper hold applied there from the Wii Fit Trainer. And he ha she has the latest cross. Impressive technique there by Wii Fit. Will Princess Peach pass out? Will she give this up? But no, Princess Peach was able to roll out impressive maneuver, her maneuver there from Peach. Nice hip toss there by the princess. Russian lay sweep to follow up, and Peach. A nice scoop and a slam. And Peach going high risk. What is she thinking of doing? Goes for an elbow, but oh, she crashed it, burns. Oh, what a knockdown takedown that was. Taking down Peach. Irish Whips. Peach ducks under. And another Frankensteiner there from. We fit trainer, and we fit trainer showing off here tonight. That's what she loves to do. She might have wasted a little bit too much time though. And only a two count. That's showing off cost her. Big time punch to the face. Did by we fit trainer. Knocks it down. Goes for the cover once again, but Peach was able to slip her foot underneath the rope. Big time chop there from the We Fit Trainer. Elbow to the face has her on the ropes, but no. Princess Peach is coming back here with a few strikes of her own. And Peach looks like she's going for the vertical suplex. But no, a counter there for the Wii Fit Trainer. What's this? Oh my goodness, when the maneuver that was. Impressive, innovative light maneuver there for the Wii Fit Trainer. Will this be over? Oh, she just almost got it. Wii Fit Trainer almost won the matchup. If she would have applied more pressure on that pinfall, Peach would have lost. Up to the face once again by Wii Fit. Crossbody, they, oh, they go, both go tumbling down. Outside of the ring. Coming blow to the back of Peach. Draws her right into the announce table. Like I said before, We Fit Trainer is not holding back on Princess Peach. She's trying to see the best out of Peach in this matchup. Drop kick, a very powerful drop kick there from the Wii Fit Trainer. So Wii Fit Trainer is waiting for a piece to get back up to her feet. She's not attacking so much. Trying to see what Peach is all about. I mean, Peach has been slacking. She was the weakest member of the Super Smash Sisters, the Sisters of Smash. We fit going high risk. She may be going for her finishing maneuver. That athletic leg drop she likes to do. Here it is. No. But Peach was able to move out the way. Here to the mid session. There by Peach. Wait, wait, what's this? This is the toast to surprise. She hits it. That's her finishing maneuver. Will this be over? Oh my goodness. We fit was able to kick out. 
She got that shoulder up before the last second, and Peach couldn't believe it. She like she's about to go for it again, but no. We fit countered. Elbow to the face. Dead by the We Fit trainer. And she hits a scoop of the slam. But she's not yet done. Goes for a roll up, but no. It's like turn it up. Oh, what a power bomb that was. We Fit showing her strength and power. And she might be calling for the end of this matchup. What's this? Trips. Peach down. Looks like she's going to work over the legs of Princess Peach here. Drags her to the center of the ring. What's this? It's like a, an inverted sharpshooter here applied by the Wii Fit trainer, Will. Princess Peach tap out here. Will she give this up? Princess Peach in a bad way, but wait a sec, she is not giving up. It's like she's crawling to that bottom rope. Will she make it in time before the pain is too much? And she got it. She reached for the rope and broke up the submission. We fit. It's waiting for Peach to get back onto her feet. Goes for the drop kick once again, but it failed. Wait a second. Here we go again. The toe still surprised. Prince hit, Princess Peach hit it. Will this be over for the second time? And this time, Princess Peach has done it. She has won the measure. My goodness. Impressive showing there by Princess Peach. I can't believe it. She actually won a matchup. I knew some new things are going to happen with Princess Peach here on Season 3. Princess Peach is the winner. Yes, you're not you're hallucinating. Princess Peach is victorious here tonight. Now let's take a look at how this match ended. We fit was trying to hit that drop kick, but Princess Peach deflected it and she hits the toe still surprised for the second time in the matchup. And that got her a three count. Like they're back together as a unit, Princess Peach. But w w wait a second, what, what, what's going on here? Uh, this, this is definitely a separation of the sisters of Smash. This is just, uh, you just seen it crumble for your very eyes. This is a civil war here. W w wait a second, the Punisher. What? He's attacking the UWO champion, Fel J. Fry. Bart and Zanky, if it wasn't enough earlier tonight, he say he's gonna finish him off. Oh my goodness! Big time chair shot there from the Punisher. What is the Punisher doing? He is showing no respect to the UWO champion. This is not good for time. This is not good for. Phil J. Fry, he could be very badly injured here. But not this. Not the time and punishment. No, don't do it. Oh my god. His head just went right to the to the table. I can't believe this. Punisher. 
this took out the UWO champion, Phil J. Fry. I'm Donnie Mike. This is UWO. Take care.